Hey guys, welcome back to Program Hub and today in this episode we're gonna talk about the battery performance in this new MacBook Pro M1 Pro. So guys, currently we have the 16 inch model that is coming up with the M1 Pro as well as the M1 Max processor if you want to upgrade. So this new laptop comes up with an amazing new features for battery performance. The first thing over here that we get is this new cable for charging that is a USB-C to a MagSafe 3 charger and by the way this is really amazing because if it want to snap this up into a laptop for charging so it's really easy and that's great so if you if by the way any mistake happens and you just want to pull this off and it comes off very easily so this has been one of the greatest feature that we've been demanding from Apple from past couple of years but so certainly we weren't getting that so finally we get this new MagSafe connector that's really amazing this is the MagSafe 3 connector and by the way if we talk about the magnet in this wire this in this cable it's really strong so we get a much more strongly powered magnet inside this MagSafe connector and that also avoids the unusual disconnections for the charging and as we talk about so previously into the laptops we used to get the c to c type cables and by the way this is a little bit more dirty because i had been using for this for a couple of years now but as part of this new cables these are really amazing and along with that we also get a new charger that is a charging brick that is in 140 watts as compared to the previously models we used to get this 87 watt charger charging bricks but now we have this 140 watts amazing charger by the way now this is compatible with usb c power delivery 3.1 and that can provide you fast charging so if you have one of these it can be enable you for the fast charging and by the way if you want to fast charge your laptop so you'll be needing the MagSafe charger so without that if you are going for charging through USB-C ports so that won't be possible right now so this is only possible the fast charging that is providing 50% uh, charge in 30 minutes of time so that can be only provided using the MagSafe co connector now coming down over here to something more that is what is the battery efficiency in these new MacBooks? So first thing as claimed by Apple, the battery is getting charged within 30 minutes of time. The so 50% battery is getting charged. So if you're quick on to go, if you want to go somewhere and if you just want your MacBook to be charged, so it can reach from 0% to 50% within 30 minutes of time. And that's real truth. So we have also tested that and we can get the results. The battery is getting charged within just 30 minutes of time to 50% and that's really great and awesome. And if you talk about the full 100% charge, so it takes around 1 hour 30 minutes to get completely 100% charged. And now, once the battery reaches the 100%, now the performance goes even much more beyond. As claimed by Apple, it says that the 16-inch model can provide you battery backup of around 21 hours of video playback. So guys, we wanted to test this out. So when we tested this out, so we the first thing like when we charge this laptop to 100% and the first percentage drop that we saw, that means from 100 to 99 took around 20 minutes. So yes, it took around 20 minutes to drop from 100 to 99%. So that was really amazing. And by the way, I was streaming on YouTube at 50% of the brightness along with 100% of the speaker volume at 4K resolution. So I was streaming on YouTube continuous videos and it provided me 20 minutes of playback for just 1%. And it goes much more beyond. When the battery percentage came around, to 95% at that moment of time the video playback that I was going for was around 53 minutes so for for complete 53 minutes I was streaming on YouTube videos at to 50% of brightness and 100% of volume and we got an amazing result of around 53 minutes and the results even go much more beyond that so finally reaching to the 90% 90% of the battery I was almost onto the mark of 2 hours so it was 1 hour 15 minutes to be exact but I was almost onto the mark of 2 hours so within 10% of the battery the 10% initial 10% from 100 to 90 it gave me and 2 hours of video playback and that's real truth and it has been really amazing thing so this kind of battery performance if you are browsing internet if you are trying to do any work on safari if you are trying to do anything on like 
anything onto the browser or if you're even just watching the videos if you're just for entertainment purposes so that's really amazing it can serve you real performance a real battery performance so if you're for example if you're traveling on the way and if you want some kind of a browsing activity to be made or else if you want some kind of entertainment thing so this can actually perform you for a very long while and when we went on further to this extending the limits so we found that the battery was easily the bat 100 percent charge can easily go around 19 to 20 hours for video playback at 50 percent of the brightness and 100 percent of volume so that was really amazing so if you want to get at to the 100 uh, percent that is the 1000 nits of the brightness so at that point i think that the battery actually will drop down from performance from 20 hours or 19 hours to around 12 hours that's what we can expect around this because we had been testing this machine also for the heavy work side so i had been working continuously on this machine from the past one week and what result i have got to see is that if i'm doing video editing and if i'm doing all those sorts of programming and development Purposes. so if i'm using it onto the heavy side so it goes around like i can say pretty easily it goes around eight to ten hours for a complete performance onto the heavy side so on the heavy side it's performing really great by the way but still i want to test this for more intensive utilization that i haven't tested yet but over in all what battery performance we are getting in this is really amazing and we are really satisfied by the way that so if guys if you have been waiting for this results these battery test results so this was it for you and i hope that you liked our video if you liked our video please hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel for more such updates and meet you in the next episode till then goodbye